हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अचीवर्स अड्डा इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूजीसी नेट एंड पीएचडी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस ट्राई टू एनालाइज अबाउट द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस वेदर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द यूजीसी नेट एग्जामिनेशन और नॉट so let us try to have the post mortem analysis of all the previous year question how it is impacting on your score guys let us take recent to previous i will go 2021 examination had total 25 shifts total 25 shifts of question papers we were having we are having ugc net paper 1 and paper 2 various subjects total 82 subjects were there so what i am trying to point out in entire all the previous year question from 2004 to 2022 or 21 whatever the question paper that you take every question paper will give us some knowledge how the question is being asked and what type of concepts have been asked in paper 1 and paper 2 so when you analyze the previous year question when you solve the previous year question then only we can able to crack this examination that is for sure even you have you are having a theory full conceptual clarity you are having a high level knowledge in theory it is very rare to crack the examination without pre, uh, previous year question solving so there is much more more than 1000% important is that previous year questions are the base for cracking a net or jrf but how many years of questions need to solve i would say for the paper 1 for the paper 1 for this examination 2021 25 shifts 25 shifts into 50 questions think about once the number some number you will get it 2020 total 24 shifts were there 24 shifts into 50 questions some numbers you will get it 2021 20 two shifts completed with this two examination itself how many papers you are getting solved for paper 1 paper 1 you are able to solve almost 49 shifts of paper 49 papers into 50 questions of each paper this many questions if you can solve in this following way what is that way first look at the question as not a single answer look at the question with a four conceptual answers always think this while solving a question if you are solving one question means one option will be the correct option out of the four alternative options that is multiple choice question but if this option is correct what about the other three option conceptual points to be learned and made it as a, a note for a learning a new point so write the single liner point for four options if i can take the example suppose which of the following is used to solve the immediate problems in the research the answer is that action research is the answer so you will write about the action research it will be solved in a practical way to solve the immediate problem and it is academic in nature like that 2 to 3 point you will write about the action research second one the other three option will be there it may be exposed facto research it may be experimental research it may be a grounded theory research other three options will be there so my way of approach is that i will also explain that three other options which is not an answer in the pdf the all four options will be properly explained so that one student while reading a question four option explanation he will get it not only learning one point towards the question that they asked they will also understand three other new concept which they didn't asked in the question but they are having a possibility to ask in the future so with this approach if we can solve this 49 shifts of 2020 and 21 of the paper 1 you are done with a conceptual understanding of the paper 1 all the 10 units why i am saying this one because after solving this 49 shifts of question paper look at your self confidence how it increased i uh, if you if i can take my plus members example all my plus members almost completed 49 shifts 20 and 20, uh, 24 and 25 shifts of 2021 they have completed whenever they completed the shifts now they feel very confident to give the examination because we had done a practice in that way now if you completed this 49 shifts also then go into some more uh, forward that is 2019 june and 2019 december papers 2018 december also you can solve 
those are 10 shifts and uh, 6 shifts, 6 shifts like that, uh, those were there. All together, I believe 18 shifts were there. So, 18 to 20 shifts, you can solve that questions also. So, if you have some more time, because as the examination got posted, some people uh, com might have completed their preparation double time by this time. So, you can uh, prepare for those questions also if you haven't prepared. So, in this way, if you can have one notes for learning a new point from the previous year question and one separate notes for theoretical understanding of various concepts. Always remember what you studied in theoretical class may not be same in practical application of the PYQ because always our preparation consists of three parts. Learning from a theory will make uh, almost 70 percent preparation. But when you apply that theory in these PYQs, you will not get all the answer. You will get only 50% to 40% of the answer, not all the answer. Because we are uh, better in understanding a theory, but we are not uh, that much expert in applying that theory. Because the way of asking a question is getting uh, different from year by year. It that Drastically, the scenario is getting changed. Question paper pattern is changing the words, the vocabulary that they are using in the questions of paper one and paper two also getting changed. So you need to digest that vocabulary. You need to get to know the meaning of the word which is used in the question paper. And in particular question, if you know the keyword meaning, you can able to solve that question. But if you don't know the meaning of that word now nah, in the question, you can't able to solve that question. You have to make an educated guess only, right? So please solve the questions in a way how you can understand not only the answer, you can understand, you must understand the different options as well. That's how you need to solve the question papers of previous year of 2021, 20 and 2019, 2018 as well for the paper one. Let us talk about the paper to any subjects, not only commerce, I am telling this, you must apply for any other paper to subjects. As I am teaching for commerce, I will take the example of commerce. So commerce uh, 2021, three shifts were there. 2020 two shifts were there, 2019 one shift was there, 2018 like that one shifts. So previously they have conducted. So till 2015 or till 2017 at least if you can go, conceptual understanding you will get it. But more importance must be given to the 2020 and uh, 2021 papers. Five papers were there but those 500 questions are solid questions that they given in the examination which is trying to create an estimation for the future questions to be asked in the 2022. That much important pattern got created in recent examination. Many way of asking a question, uh, conceptual questions were there, factual based questions were there, assertion reasoning is there, but one, 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 uh, uh, a certain portion of the questions were not testing a conceptual knowledge, they are testing your memory like a double taxation, avoidance agreements and income tax section based questions. They are not conceptual at all, but they are checking your memory, how much you are able to retain the learned things, how much you are able to recognize the things that you learn. It is not, ab not about the conceptual, it is about something about the memory level that you need to apply in the exam. That is another for the paper two. So paper two, you must take care about 2021, 20, uh, 20 as well as 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, if possible, you can go till the 2015 and 12 also. That's based on your time. But priority must be given to recent years rather than previous years. Right? This is about the paper too. But all the things I can say is that about the previous year question, if you take a chance of giving up the previous year question solving before going for the examination, you mentally fix it to give up the exam also. That's what I can assure you because there are some people who entirely depended upon only PYQs, previous year questions and they uh, went through with the examination with a JRF. It is not like they don't have any conceptual theoretical knowledge. They have a conceptual theoretical base till the academics, till the masters or till the CA something. They have, they have the uh, strong conceptual understanding. That's why they solved directly the previous year question and they went through with the examination. So always complete a theory. Do not ignore the theory 100%. Complete the theory as much as possible. Teacher is teaching and uh, student is learning. Till that much extent, you cover the theory. But this is only 50%. Some 
points you can only cover from the previous year question your learning must be from the previous year question whenever you are getting a new concept take a notebook search in a google or search in a youtube uh, get the class of it and write it down in your notebook whenever you are going for the examination before one day revise all those new concepts revise all those your uh, classroom notes so that entire your revision will be completed and you can appear for the exam with a full confident way otherwise you can't able to get through with the exam so previous year questions are bhagavad gita bible quran for the ugc net examination not just the ugc net any competitive exam that you take it previous year questions are the base for the future exams of the respective uh, whether it is ugc net or any other right so that's what i wanted to share it with you guys this things i told many times previously in the previous videos but as the examination is very near if i can put up uh, the video one more time you those people who haven't solved this previous year question they can able to solve the source of this question i will tell you i have almost solved 2021 uh, 13 shifts i i solved in uh, an academy free platform only whereas entire 25 shifts data interpretation question uh, pdf i given in the telegram reading comprehension pdf also i given in the telegram please do join into the telegram achievers adda and uh, you can get it over there and moreover guys you, you should uh, look into the links of 2020 also 2020 dnrc complete pdf also i given in telegram so 2020 24 shifts 2021 25 shifts everything is available at anacademy plus platform every question with a proper explanation is available so you can get it download from there not only 2021 and 20 2019 18 uh, everything is available in anacademy plus subscription only and uh, uh, various years previous year question plenty of pyq so i solved in to the uh, unacademy free platform and in the youtube also i solved to some extent so wherever possible i try to do as many uh, as questions so you can get those questions and practice more till the examination all the best avoid the negativity have the self uh, confidence till your exam september 2022 so it is a destiny we cannot change it they are doing a mistake but we should not stop our preparation let us continue our preparation consistently till the examination not to give up many hurdles are there in your family or the responsibility or in your preparation struggles not able to concentrate due to this postponement everything is there but you have to do it everything is there in spite of all this disappointment we need to move further we should not uh, uh, stand then and there we should move on only so that we will get our patients will get tested our patients will get a result and fruit of it very soon in the september 2022 all the be very best guys and if you like this video please do hit a like button if you dislike the video please do hit a dislike button and do share with your friends subscribe to this channel we'll meet in next video thank you guys if you like this video please subscribe my channel and please like my video and press the bell icon to get new video updates Thanks for watching please subscribe.